G'day everyone, the No Recoil Tech 9. Let's get into it. For this video, I'll be using the Taylor Drift Ultimate Pro Aim version 5.3 script. If you want to download that script, you can get it from the Taylor Drift Discord and I'll leave a link to that Discord in the description of this video. First off, let's have a look at these attachments. So I went with the full auto repeater, the task force barrel, field agent grip, 48 round mag and the Tiger Team Spotlight. Okay, so I'm gonna go through and work out my anti-recoil values for the Tech 9. now. As I say always, you cannot copy the exact values that I use and then expect those to work the same for you, but you can follow this same process that I use with progressive anti-recoil to find those values that will work for whatever settings you play on. Okay, so um, we're going to use progressive anti-recoil. Go and turn that one on. Now, I like to start with the vertical start on 30 and the vertical end on 20. Okay, you don't have to do it like that. You can start on maybe 40 and 30. Maybe you can start on... 20 and 10 it's completely up to you okay i like to start on 30 and 20 um now because it's a 48 almost 50 round clip i'm going to go 2500 for this one and i have no idea what the horizontal does so i'm going to leave that for now so back out so that saves and test all right so i'm not sure if we're going to need any horizontal if we do it's going to be a little bit but Quite clearly, that vertical amount is not enough. So because the vertical amount is not enough, we go back to progressive, and the vertical values will need to go up. Okay, so now we try... I'm going to try 45 and 35 because of how much it went up. So, okay. Yeah, and test again. Went up steadily again, so back in. I'm going to try 50 and 40, only putting it up a little bit this time because it didn't go up as much as the previous test. So back out, so that saves. Go again here. There you go, pretty decent. What I might do is go maybe 48 and 38, something like that. Back out, save. And let's test. There you go. It did kick up a little bit at the end. So maybe you could keep the vertical start the same. But because the end went up a bit. Maybe 39, 40, 39. Fucking stick drift. Oh, I'm not out of the menu either. I'll try again. Yeah, there you go. Again, it kicked up a little bit at the end. You could maybe... Uh, turn the uh, vertical end up if you wanted to, but that's that's fine. You're going to show people with that. And there we go. So as you can see, this weapon can be quite easy to set up with progressive anti-recoil as long as you follow that same process that I've just shown you. Like I said in the example, you don't have to start on vertical start 30, vertical end 20. You can start on 40 and 30. You can start on 20 and 10. Just make sure you're starting with the vertical start about 10 higher than the vertical end and then start testing out from there. Make some changes from there depending on how you go. Like you've seen, when the weapon stays straight for the majority of the clip and then starts to go up towards the end i turn the vertical end up not the vertical start not both just the vertical end you could also see the recoil was going up i kept putting the anti-recoil up eventually i started going down a little bit and then what i did i decreased those vertical values just a little bit that's all you need to do just follow that same process start with that vertical start a little bit higher keep putting it up until you get it close start fine tuning it just that little bit i promise you progressive anti-recoil is not as hard to work out as what it seems like it is but now i'm going to leave you with some clips of me using this weapon cheers for watching i'll see you next time hey, oh. Hello, aim assist. Oh, 
Ach, den da. Kann das sein? Kann das sein? Das ist nicht wahr, ich fuck das one up. Uh oh oh. What a bot.